Hi, my name is Rachel Alford from Cozy Nooks Designs, and today in this cozy yarn review, we're going to be looking at four yarns that are good substitutes for Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick Yarn, and these four yarns that we will be looking at have no wool in them. I have several patterns that use Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn, and so I often get asked the question, what yarn is a good substitute if I'm allergic to wool? So these four yarns that we will look at today do not have wool in them. They are either 100% acrylic yarn or they're an acrylic blended yarn. With each yarn, we will go through the cozy rating system. Cost, offer colors, ease of use, and yarn feel. Do you see how it kind of makes the acronym cozy? So let's get to it. These four substitutes for Woolies Thick and Quick. First, I just have to get this out of the way. I know this isn't a huge thing for some people, but for me, I could not get over this. <laughs> let's talk price first. This one is from Hobie Yarn, and it's called the G -G Giga, Giga Yarn? I don't know. Um, this one cost me $23.42 for acrylic yarn. Yes, I am still mad about it. <laughs> I know it's from Denmark, and so that's why I had to pay so much for shipping. So for me in America, this is just impractical. This is, I, I will still review it, but to be completely honest, it's hard for me not to have a biased opinion of this. Um, this one is Premier Basics, super bulky. This is their new one. I paid $16.64. I think I had to pay for shipping on this one as well because I couldn't get this in stores. These two I can get in stores and so I was able, they were more affordable for me. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I got this one at Joanne. I got both of these on sale as well, whereas these I could not get them on sale even though I tried talking to Premier and Hobie to try to collaborate with them. So why don't you check me out again if you want to collaborate in the future, but you may not want to after I give my review. So for Yarn Bee Effortless Super Bulky, I paid $6.67 and that's after tax. Um, and then this one is the K and C Knit and Crochet Alpa Alpaca from Joanne and I paid about $7. I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for this because I got additional yarns at Joanne the same time. So I couldn't easily look at my bank account and figure out how much I specifically paid for this, but it's about $7. So first impressions, this is unreasonably expensive. Unreasonably, will not recommend this one price-wise. If you live in the um, Europe, you might be able to get it shipped to you easier, and then if that's the case, maybe consider it. But from these three, affordable, okay price. This one's a little bit more because I had to pay for shipping, but if you're going to get a huge bulk order of it, then it wouldn't cost as much. So now that we have the big deterrent out of the way, let me go skein by skein and talk about it individually. Let's talk about Hobie Giga. If you look at the yarn label, it's 150 grams for 5.3 ounces, 95 meters for 104 yards. So that is pretty comparable to Woolies Thick and Quick. For the yardage, you get 106 yards for that and six ounces. So from that aspect, it's pretty comparable. Um, one thing I was so surprised about was that it's saying this is a super bulky yarn, a weight, or sorry, it's saying it's a weight five bulky yarn. And I was like, there is no way this is weight five. So I got on Hobie's website and it says that there is a printing error and that this is supposed to be a weight six. So I'm gonna pay $27 for confusion. That's actually how I felt. If I'm gonna pay $27, I want it to tell me the correct weight of yarn. This means that you can put it in the washing machine 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit for the washing machine. You obviously cannot iron it. This is, you can put it in the dryer on normal, but low heat. Looking at it before I actually start 
crocheting and knitting with it, it feels pretty scratchy to me. For an acrylic yarn, I am not impressed with the softness. It's also, if you look at the strand, the individual uh, twists of the fiber, it looks very matted. I don't like, it looks like it's been sitting for a long time and that the stitch definition is gonna look muted and not pop how I want it to. You can see it has like some pilling and you know what I'm saying? It's starting to like halo in not a good way. So I do not like how that is looking right now. When I was looking at their website, it says that it the way that, that is, it is made is a technique where steam and pressure make the acrylic fibers contract and curl to make it more voluminous. So I'm not sure if because it's got steam and pressure, if that's why it's making it look matted, worn and gross, but if I'm getting a new skein of yarn, I don't want it to already look matted. Due to the cost, the discrepancy in the weight of the yarn and the scratchy, matted, worn look of the, the strands, I am not liking this yarn so far, if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> um, but I will give it a shot and I will crochet and knit up swatches for you. After crocheting with this yarn, I had no issues with splitting of the yarn and it glides very easily. You can see it here. It doesn't stretch very well and it's very dense when compared to Woolies Thick and Quick. Here I am knitting and again, I had no issues with it working up. It worked up fine. I was surprised how much I liked using double strands with this yarn. The stitches look a lot better in my opinion held double stranded than just one single strand for single crochet and knitting. One thing that is definitely better with this yarn is the colors available. There are 61 colors in this line, which is amazing. Here are my final judgments for the Hobie Amigo Giga yarn. The cost is a zero out of 10 for me. For 103 yards, the price is $7.70 per skein, which seems reasonable, but unless you spend $100, you have to pay for shipping, which put my one skein at $23.42. The offered colors is a 10 out of 10 for me. Basically the only good thing I can say about this yarn because there are 61 colors available. The ease of use, nine out of 10 for me. I had no problems with this. And then the yarn feel was a four out of 10 for me. I would not, not describe this as soft. It feels scratchy, especially for an acrylic and looks matted and cheap. This puts the overall cozy score at a three out of 10. I only bumped it up to a three because of all the colors offered, but I would never recommend this yarn to anyone. The cost coupled with the printing error stating the wrong yarn weight is a huge no for me. Very unprofessional and just creates confusion. It feels like cheap yarn and the worst part is that it's not cheap because of how expensive the shipping is. So talking about Premier's new Premier Basics Super Bulky, just as a first initial glance, this is like the same exact thing as Woolies Thick and Quick. If I grabbed the strands, I can hardly tell a difference between the thickness and just how they feel. Um, with a wool, it is a little more squishy and a, an acrylic is a bit more dense, but just looking at it, I mean, it really is hard to tell the difference between the two. So from just an, a first, first initial response, this is the closest. On the label, you can see it's 98 yards, 90 meters, 5.29 ounces for 150 grams. So it is a bit smaller than Woolies Thick and Quick in terms of Woolies is 106, whereas this is 98 yards. And as far, far as machine washable, it's the same exact as Woolies Thick and Quick. You can do machine washable, but it needs to be in 105 degree Fahrenheit height or lower, which is 40 degrees Celsius in the water temperature. And then you also can tumble dry it um, in the washing or in the dryer. One thing that really stood out for me 
is that they test this against 350 different harmful substances. So they really advertise that it is safe for you and your family to be used with babies, kids, all, everyone, pets. So that is a neat thing that I appreciate with this line. This yarn is 100% acrylic, but it single crochets and knits up nicely. It feels very similar to Woolies Thick and Quick when working with it, but it does create a bit more dense of a fabric. The drape is not quite as good as Woolies Thick and Quick because it is compacted more and doesn't drape as well. Premier Basics Super Bulky has 20 colors offered and there are two reds offered a cherry red and a deeper red. I specifically get questions about reds, and so this is a good option for that. The cost is a six out of 10 for me for this one. It's the only negative I have of this yarn. Because I had to pay for shipping, it was pricey. On the Premier's website, it is only $5 a skein, but I could not find this in stores because it's so new. So I had to pay to ship it from their website. After the cost of shipping, it was $11.64. But if you do spend over $75 in the US, you do get free shipping. So you could avoid shipping that way. The offered colors is an eight out of 10 because there are 20 colors available for this yarn, which is good, but not great. It's an acceptable amount in my opinion with a good variety. I scored the ease of use as a nine out of 10 because I had no problems knitting or crocheting with it, no splitting of any kind. The yarn feel score is eight out of 10 because it's not as soft as a natural fiber because it is acrylic, but it is soft for an acrylic yarn. The overall cozy score for Premier Basics Super Bulky is a nine out of 10. This is the overall winner for me. Would 100% recommend as a great yarn to use and my number one pick for best yarn substitute for a line brand Woolies Thick and Quick if you are allergic to wool. Doing additional testing to make sure it is safe is very cool and unique thing about this yarn and I love that. For these last two yarn substitutes, it needs to be said, both of them are alp alpaca based. So this one has 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca. And this one is very similar. Oh, it is the same, 80% acrylic, 20% alp alpaca. So both of these will shed. Um, that's the name of the game with alpaca. So you can see these little strands right here. Um, it will shed when you work with it. The Yarn Bee Effortless Super Bulky. It has 12 colors, which is not a huge diversity of colors. It does have this pretty green color that I liked that I thought um, would look nice for different tree skirt patterns that I have. Um, it's called Dried Sage. And you can see you can machine wash it and tumble dry it, but it is a good option if you are allergic to wool and wanting a more affordable yarn. This is a good option if you have Hobby Lobby's local to you because you can get it on sale for a good price when they do their 30% off every other week. To combat the shedding, since this is an alpaca yarn, People recommend to wash and dry it. Reviews say that if you do it twice, then it does stop shedding. So you can try that if that is really becoming troublesome. The Yarn Bee Effortless Super Bulky crochets up very nicely. I did have a bit of splitting happening, but not as bad as the K and C alpaca solids. It of course has a bit of a halo due to the alpaca fibers. And as previously mentioned, since it is an alpaca blend, it does shed. The drape is beautiful on this yarn and it is extremely soft due to the alpaca. If you're wanting to get this today and you have a Hobby Lobby nearby, this is my number one pick instead of the KNC alpaca solids. Let's go ahead and score Yarn B Effortless Super Bulky. For cost, I gave it a nine out of 10. It is very reasonably priced for the weight and yardage. Plus Hobby Lobby has their yarn sale every other week, which makes it come out to be $6.67 a skein if you buy it on sale. For offered colors, I gave it a six out of 10. There are only 12 colors available and not great variety or hues. So that's why I only gave it a six. The ease of use, I rated seven out of 10. It does split a bit and it does shed, 
but it's not as bad as the other alpaca solids yarn that I reviewed, so I like this one better. Yarn feel, 10 out of 10, super soft, great drape, softer than the other alpaca yarn, and so I loved how this felt. The overall cozy score is seven and a half out of 10. And I know that doesn't make sense to have a decimal in a fraction, but it's my review so I can do what I want. I feel like I like this yarn more than a seven, but I couldn't quite give it an eight because of the lack of colors available. So that's why I rated it the way I did. If you cannot wait for shipping and you need to get something in store today, this would be my recommendation for the best yarn sub for wool ease thick and quick. The K and C knit and crochet line from Joanne. This is like I said, alpaca based as well. So it does shed. I've read online that if you wash and dry it twice that it does stop the shedding. So you can try that. Um, it can be put in the wa washing machine and it says that you need to tumble dry this one. So for this, it does have a good amount of yardage per skein compared to um, the wool ease. So for six ounces, which is the same as wool ease, you get 130 yards, which is much better than the 106. So for it being pretty affordable and how much yardage you get, this is also a good choice if you're looking for a good cost-effective alternative. One bad thing about this brand is that it only has 10 colors. Looking at Joanne's website, I did see a few more colors that are clearanced and at a different price point than what this is. So I don't know if they are cleaning out and they're not gonna offer those colors in the future. But anyway, there are not many color choices with this line. So you can see single crocheting it right here. It actually did split on me a few times. Knitting it did as well. And that's when you're working with alpaca, it is typically more cumbersome to work with. So I had to take care and pay attention to what I was doing. As with the natural fiber, the trade-off is that it may split more, but the softness typically makes up for it. This yarn is very soft, not as soft as the Yarn Bee Effortless Alpaca, but still soft. And the drape was also great. Let's go to the scoring of the KNC Alpaca Solids yarn. The cost gets a nine out of 10 for me. Paying only $7 for an alpaca yarn with 130 yards is a great price. Joanne often runs sales, so though it is priced higher on, on the label, I was able to get it for $7 because of the sales Joanne runs. For offered colors, I rated it seven out of 10. It only has 10 colors, which is the lowest amount of colors from the four yarns that we reviewed today. But of those 10 colors, I did like the shades. So that's why I gave it, I bumped it up to a seven. The ease of use, I rated it five out of 10 because it does split fairly easily because it's an alpaca blended yarn. So you do need to pay attention and care when you're knitting and crocheting with it. The yarn feel is eight out of 10 because it is fairly soft because it is an alpaca blend, but it's not quite as soft as the Yarn be Effortless. So that's why I only rated it eight out of 10. The overall cozy score for the KNC Alpaca Solids yarn is seven out of 10. It does shed like the Effortless, Yarn Be Effortless yarn, um, but again, I didn't necessarily knock it a point because it sheds, but I did knock points for the ease of use and the low amount of colors offered. So to review, my overall cozy ratings are as follows. For Amigo Giga yarn, three out of 10. For Premier Basic Super Bulky, nine out of 10. Yarn B Effortless, seven and a half out of 10, and KNC Alpaca Solids, seven out of 10. My best yarn substitute for Woolies Thick and Quick yarn that does not have wool in it is the Premier Basic Super Bulky yarn. You can see this is Woolies Thick and Quick yarn, and this is Premier Basic Super Bulky. And besides just the color, they are, nearly identical. It is a little bit more dense than Woolies Thick and Quick, 
the Premier Super Basics, but the gauge and the actual feel of the two fabrics are very, very similar. So I would recommend Premier Super Basics yarn for the best substitute for Woolies Thick and Quick yarn if you cannot use wool. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you liked it. I am Rachel from Cozy Nooks Designs and make sure that you give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel for future free patterns and tips.